And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. I come to the garden. Welcome to your Devotional Digest with Pastor Damian Chambers, bringing you inspiration and education to strengthen your devotional life. The Son of God discloses and He walks with me and He talks with me. Gracious Father, this morning we thank you for the privilege we have to come in your presence and seek your face one more time. We pray, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will be with us and inspire our hearts as we listen to your words and reflect upon you, we pray in Jesus' name. Our devotional topic for this morning is, We Lack Motivation, Not Time. Those of us who seek for a meaningful devotion in life have gone through it before. We have made resolutions to spend time reading our Bibles and praying each day. However, after a few days or weeks, we find ourselves hurrying through our prayers, skimming through our Bible readings, or deciding that we must put this off until a more convenient time. We seem not to have enough time to pray or to spend with God. Or do we? According to Maurice Venden in his book, 95 Thesis on Righteousness by Faith, and I quote, We don't lack time. We lack motivation. End of quote. Venden supported his argument by saying, We find time to dress and groom ourselves every day. We find time to eat our meals. Yet we fail to find time to put on the robe of Christ's righteousness and eat the bread of life. After spending 18 years of trying to maintain a consistent devotional life, I must agree with Venden that the problem of finding time to pray is not a lack of time, but a lack of motivation. We are all given equal amount of time every day. Therefore, according to Venden, the real question is not whether we have time to pray, but the question is, do we consider it important? Jesus said to Martha, 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 you are careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part which shall not be taken from her. In other words, Martha, you find time for many things, but the one thing that is most important you have neglected. Mary has chosen to make it a priority, and she will not go unrewarded. According to the psalmist in Psalm 27 verse 4, One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. Psalm is also saying, Psalm 84 and verse 10, For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. David is suggesting that we need to make it a priority to seek the presence of God in order for us to find time to pray. So we conclude that when we neglect prayer and Bible study, we do so not because we lack time, but because we lack motivation. We are hoping through this series to give you enough reasons to seek and maintain a consistent devotional life of prayer and Bible study. Our quotable quote this morning comes from Steps of Christ, page 94. The darkness of the evil one encloses those who neglect to pray. The whispered temptations of the enemy entice them to sin. And it is all because they do not make use of the privileges 
that God has given them in the divine appointment of prayer. End of quote. Now it's prayer time. Our focus for this morning is on praying for Jamaica and invite all our prayer ministers to join us in prayer for our country. Gracious Father in heaven, we present ourselves to you this morning asking of you, Lord, to forgive us of our sins. We ask of you, Lord, to give us the motivation we need to have a consistent devotional life. We also present before you, Lord, our country, Jamaica, that has been facing a resurgence in crime and violence, especially against our women and children. O oh God, we ask for your deliverance on behalf of your people. We ask that they may send mighty angels to visit every home, every street corner, every lane where plans are being made to take people's lives, to abduct, to rape. We ask for deliverance, dear Lord, and protection over your people. But most of all, we ask for you to deliver us and save us in your kingdom at last. We pray for a government that will may give them wisdom to make decisions that will help to minimize the crime problem. Grant us these and other mercies we ask. In Jesus' name. And the joy we share as we Thank you for listening. Join us next time for Devotional Digest with Pastor Damian Chambers.